So before season six of Sisters premiere May 31st at 8 o'clock on BET, no promo, but y'all can't sponsor me because I'm available. I need some questions answered because, baby, listen, I'm over here just ain't got no answers to none of my questions. And I was watching the trailer again, right? Now, the first time it went over my head. The second time I was like, okay. The third time I was like, hold up, hold up, hold up. Because there's a lot of people missing from the trailer. But Maurice is definitely missing from the trailer. And then, as I thought about it even more, I came to realize that the last scene of the season five finale was Maurice and Q fighting over the gun. Now, baby, where's Maurice Tyler Perry? Because we finna be on your ass. Let's get into this video, baby. Where is Maurice? Now, your girl is over here stressing, okay? Because in the last video, I was telling y'all how Sabrina was crying on Calvin's shoulder. And I had no idea as to why she would be doing this. But as I thought about it more, what brings Calvin and Sabrina together like no other? Nobody else but Maurice. And baby girl was boohoo crying. Real life crying. Ugly face crying. Child, I don't want to believe Maurice is dead nor shot, but something done happen in that airport garage. Now, I'm still confused as to why Maurice even went over there by himself unprotected to confront Q. And I still need those questions answered too, because what are you thinking, child? Now, we don't know if he had backup or not, because you know they gave us a little cliffhanger or whatever. And I want to believe that Maurice is smarter than that, but right now he is just going off of, you know, his anger. So, you know, when you're just going off anger, you don't think. Okay, cool. Where's Maurice? Let us know before May 31st because Tyler Perry, if anything happens to Maurice, we on your ass. Now, we don't need to knock Maurice off the show. But if we should had to, I can think of a few people that we could knock off before we knocked off Maurice. Say, for instance, Q. Because at this point, what purpose does he serve to the show? You played your role. You came in. You did what you did. Congratulations. We don't need to see you no more. We can RIP you. Ribbon in a bow drops my closed curtains. Like, we don't need to see your face. We really don't want to anyway. You one of those. Now, that brings me to my next point. Because, in fact, if Maurice did kill Q or shoot Q, you out on bail, Maurice. So, basically, you finna go back to jail. So, basically, we done wasted $1.5 million to get you out for you to go and do some dumb stuff. You already facing 30 to life. <sighs> Ain't no At thing this point, child. Maurice is either dead or in jail, which in any case or scenario, it's like, my boy, what was you thinking? Honestly and truly, what were you thinking when you went down there? You already got charges pending. How many more did you want to add? Are you trying to go back? Did you find you a boyfriend in there? Because it's given that you wanted to go back, Maurice. Okay, so because I refuse to believe that Maurice has been RIP'd, I've been coming up with theories and scenarios in my head to, you know, cope with the situation that has been put before me. And the last theory that I came up with, hear me out, what if the gun just went off and nobody got shot? What if the bullet went into the ground or went into a car or it went into the ceiling? You know, because the cliffhangers be misleading, child. They don't be cliffhanging like they need to be cliffhanging. They be having us thinking that we going to die. They is Google, child. They be having us thinking that we going to die the whole time. It's just a fever. Ain't nobody got time for all that, okay? Now, I'm praying, hoping, and wishing for scenario three because why we got to kill Maurice? Now, I know what I said about Sabrina doing the ugly face cry, y'all. But let's be honest. Our good sister Sabrina got a whole lot to be crying about. It don't have to be because something happened to Maurice. But that's a strong possibility as to why she crying. But she still got a whole lot to be crying about. I mean, because what's the point? What would be the point of them unaliving Maurice? He ain't did nothing wrong. Let that man live his life. And we don't need to see him back in jail, child. We not already seen enough of him in his orange jumpsuit in season five. We do not need any repeats or flashback memories. Okay, we got it. We are clear. Okay. Now, if you need somebody to unalive an RIP, I can give you a few. Q, Hayden, Heather, Gary, Let's start with them. Let's not kill off the people that we actually enjoy seeing 
and love. Let's not do that. And another thing. I need to know what happens to Maurice as soon as the episode come on. The same way y'all pick up what we left off, I'm going to need y'all to do that again. I don't want to wait a whole hour to find out what happens to Maurice. I need to know within the first two minutes, child, don't even play the theme song before we know what happened to Maurice. Knowing Tyler Perry, the last scene of season six, episode one, will be Maurice in his casket or in the jail cell. And I ain't got half the time for that we have waited long enough we just trying to cut through the bullshit at this point and if you don't want to cut through the bullshit just let me write an episode at this point let me write the whole season because it's given that y'all need my help but anyway y'all that was that on that let me know what y'all think down below in the comment section where is Maurice is he dead is he in jail is he shot is he left to die what is going on cause I know y'all wants to know too and y'all be giving me some good suggestions so let me know like comment subscribe don't forget to follow me on all my social medias they will be linked in the description box down below and yeah until the next video it's your girl Sunny Renee and I am out of here y'all peace